Now that we learnt about how to create a SIPOC, we will talk about what leaders can do with SIPOC to understand the big picture and bring in clarity for your team and for yourself. Let's start going one by one into each of those five different elements such as suppliers, input process, output and customers and talk about what you could do uniquely in each of those. So look at it like this. If a SIPOC does not exist in your organization, it's a great opportunity for you to facilitate creation of one. Either you could just show how you can lead, go to the board, start creating one for your organization with all the team members, that is at least your direct reports participating in that workshop. Or else you could have one of your direct reports lead this and you can be part of it. If a SIPOC already exists in your organization, then start analyzing it by asking the following questions. So either way, what I'm going to talk now is how you can analyze the SIPOC and not necessarily how you can create it, which we covered earlier. So starting with suppliers, identify and learn about all the external dependencies of the business. 